Imagine building your own design tool like Figma without code, without any knowledge of building your own apps, all with the power of artificial intelligence. All right, so this first tool is called create.xyz. And Create allows us to build any app design tool or software that we can think of. So I actually thought of a color palette generator for designers based on your description or project. So in this case, I can say I want a contrasting color palette for my blue theme. And it'll give you a message of crafting a perfect color palette and based on a blue color, it gives us some other colors that we can use with blue, which can be contrasting. I can even say a washed out rainbow if that is something that I want to create. I click on generate and it is able to generate a washed out rainbow. Again, exactly what I'm defining. It builds a mobile responsive version as well as a full scale version. To do this, it's super simple. I'll go to my dashboard on create.xyz, create a new project. And inside this new project, I need to define what I require here. So I can say a color picker, that finds colors from images, give an option to add links of images. And once again, I can even add my own AI here. So if I want chat GPT capabilities, if I want DAL E capabilities or anything around that, I can actually do that. I'm gonna say send, it starts thinking and right here in real time, it starts to write code for me. Immediately, as you can see, it's created a basic UI for us, which of course we can edit after it's created it as you can see I can add my own text links whatnot I can edit or I can give it more instructions to add or tweak or change anything here from this message box and right here I have paste image URL here so it's understood my assignment I'm going to go to unsplash as you can see really cool I'm going to open image in new tab so that we can see the image in all its glory and I'm going to copy and paste its link here as you can see, I click on this and it starts to process. It gives us a message here. And at the bottom, it shows me the color palette. Wow. Okay, wow. I wish something like this existed. Best part is you can share it with your team, you can share it with people around you, or, or you can click on edit code, copy this entire code, download the project or embed the project on your own website, etc. I'm super excited to start utilizing this on Design Wings websites, on any other website that I build. This will be so cool. Okay, the next one actually allows you to create your own plugins and tools inside Figma. So imagine being able to create all of that without going through the entire process of building a plugin. This is made possible by something called Automator, which is a free Figma plugin that you can install. I'll have a link in the description. For example, I've set up a couple of things here. I have different kinds of styles that I've added onto text or a group of text or a group of elements. And I want to remove all those effects in one click. Well, you can go through other processes, but this remove effects plugin that I've created here will remove it for you. Click on this and all the effects here, as you can see, have been removed immediately. Now, how does this work? For example, the remove effects plugin that I created just works with a simple command, get current selection and remove effects. All of this is easy to achieve. You just click on this plus icon here, add a custom action. Now the actions are limitless. You can resize elements, you can change their colors, change their properties. You can swap instances, convert to components. You can add different kinds of effects all automated for you so you don't have to manually add effects in the future. And the best part is after all of this, you have scripting available as well. So if you're into code or if you know how to use these scripts, for example, the if statement, you can even make certain actions repeat themselves or have loops like for each loop. You can show alerts and messages on Figma. So for example, I say show alert and inside this I say, hey YouTube and whatever the alert is, if I play this, it will show me as a little pop-up here on my Mac. You can connect to third-party APIs, you can import data from other websites, etc. You can log these things, you can set properties. Everything is limitless. I'll also link one or two videos in the description to see how you can use the Automator plugin for yourself to create these powerful plugins or automations inside Figma. For the next one, I honestly wanted to mention this because this is very good for the design world in general. It's a free and open source 
UI design tool. So imagine having Figma and you can add your own features, remove features, make it your very own design tool or for your company or for whoever you're creating it for. They have their entire code right here in the public for you to check out. You can either download this code, edit it and make it your own. Now I was able to kind of try extracting the code or understanding the code of this with chat GPT as you can see a lot of lines of code right here. Um, but I was finally able to get something running where you can add, as you can see here that it's now purple, it was green and black earlier. I can write text here as well. So I can say hello or something like that. And I can just add it right here in the same color and I can clear the canvas. Now, this is far from perfect, but if you keep on nudging code pen to write something complex or to add a particular feature, etc., it is going to do just that from chat GPT. And you can use something like code pen to host this. And this is again free of cost and it'll be on your own code pen uh, if you log in and you'll always have this feature right here. I think this is really impressive. There are some things which are missing, but with a little more work and help from someone, you probably can get this running and can be your own very own design tool.